Okay, I'm going to do a video over how to close shapes inside your project. Uh, a lot of times when you go to hit preview, you get this message right here that tells you there were so many shapes that were set to fill, but they were not closed. If you continue on this, what it'll do, it'll give you a preview, and it'll show you the areas that it, it'll continue to go ahead and draw the line, but it's not going to fill in and shade in like you want it to do. So this is what I do to correct this. I'm going to go back to preview once again and instead of continue I'm going to click show me and when you zoom in what you're going to see is you're going to see the areas they're highlighted or perforated to let you know that hey these areas um, they're not closed off. So what I do is I'll go ahead and hit shift and I'll highlight this section here and you'll see that both of my lines or both of my shapes are not highlighted. I go to Node Editor. And if I hover over the area I want trimmed, I click or hit T. It'll take that away. Now I can go up here and get some more of this overhang. And then when you get this far, you can take these two boxes and bring them over top of each other. They'll turn red. It'll, it'll turn color or change color and change shape. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click this area or click this line, hold down shift, click, and I'm going to hit T. And then I'm going to bring those two boxes over top of each other. There we go. They changed color. All right. Let me go down here. Now, you may find that some of your lines, let's see if this one down here, yep, this line's a little short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that node, I'm going to drag it through the line, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click this as well. Let me make sure the other one is all the way through. It is. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hover over that. Hit T. And whoop, I'm going to have to bring that back through. Let me bring it back through. I'm going to hover over this line and click T. It removes it. Now I need to go back and I'm going to grab this square bring it over the top of that one it'll change to red and change shape come down here and I'm gonna hold down shift highlight this line and I'm gonna trim this one so I'm gonna hover over it click T okay nothing happens so I'm gonna move this line to there alright change shape change color and I'm gonna go here I'm gonna highlight this line right here and let's see what we got here. I'm going to move this. There we go. Bring those two on top of each other. Well, it should change shape. Okay, that may be the starting point there. Yep, it is. All right, good deal. We appear to be done. I'm going to kind of look through and make sure everything looks good. There should only be one green spot. So I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to hit preview again. And if we did this right, this area should not be highlighted. So we're going to say show me. And as you can see, it's not highlighted. So that means it's good to go. So I'm going to check my preview again. I'm going to say continue. And we should see, there we go, that area is shaded in now. So that's what I do to cut and trim areas inside of my engraving projects and I know like I said there are several videos that are out on YouTube that they're they're useful but they're just using simple shapes like squares and circles most of us are getting into images like this to where it gets a little busy and a little bit more than a square and a circle and sometimes it's not as easy as it seems uh, I hope this helps out give me a like and subscribe give me a comment if it does help out and if you know a better way than this please share because I am all about learning and figuring out more about light burn and I do stuff with Vetrix as well if you want me to post some videos on Vetrix uh, just leave me a comment thanks